Welcome to Webisode Wednesdays, folks. We're taking a dirty 65 Corvette and turning it into a dream car for a charity auction. But first, we have to clean it up. We've got a 65 Roadster here. It's covered in uh, ants, mold, dirt, and rust. Um, good news is, from a rust perspective, uh, it's got a lot of surface rust on it we're going to deal with, but very, very little deep corrosion. Very little. Uh, got the factory hard top, which is just uglier than sin. And let's just take a look at this uh, gorgeous interior. It's mostly complete. Complete correct steering wheel gauges. Got the extra gauge, so we're going to get rid of that. Um, so pretty much no options except the supplemental hardtop, but we're going to change all of that. Guys, let's uh, remove that hardtop and then the hood. We're going to get this process going. Helps make the car look a whole lot better. Because we'll be sanding and painting the car, we need to get all the dirt and grime and bugs off. That's good, that's good. Look, they're scattering like cockroaches. Like yeah. You haven't found any bugs in the car yet, have you? <laughs> Mike, what bugs have you pulled out of this car so far? Cockroaches, ants, earwigs, various other little spiders. But that's all, just, and, and just a couple of each? Tons of them. <laughs> all right. I mean, they're pouring out over here. Yeah, they're, they're actually coming out as we pull the car apart. We're, we're a little bit like, uh, you know, an eviction crew in a New York City slum apartment. They're all just running out like cockroaches. They just keep coming out of the car. Well, I am, uh, I am looking, oh wow, these carpets don't have a, Oh, try and save the carpets, guys. We're gonna try and reuse them if we can, okay? Because those are those are probably original 1965 Corvette carpets, and we don't want to lose those. So, at this point, the disassembly has been going on for a couple of hours, and we got uh, some doors pulled apart, some bumpers removed gas filler, uh, some of the trim holding the top down. Most of the interior is out and most of the bugs have been evicted and there was a lot of them. We don't often use pressure washers on classic cars, but when the start point is this disgusting and we're going to be redoing the entire car, pressure washing is the fastest way to clean it. We're going to take the body off the chassis and do a full restoration of both, making modifications to each one. So what are we about to do? <coughs> Lift this off of the chassis. Why are you, why are you open my face? Why are you open That's up face? in your face. All right, so we're about to lift this car off the chassis. That's our roller chassis, so that we've got a place to put this body while we're actually doing the work on the chassis that comes out of that one. All right, so the obvious thing, you have to lift it high enough to clear the air cleaner, so it has to come up about two, two and a half feet. Everything should be disconnected on the body so we can lift it right off. All right, you ready? On three, one, two, three. Um, I think there's still a few things that are connected. Try and lift it higher. All right, everybody lift. Okay, um, uh, okay so can we lift it higher? Slowly. 
even though we aren't going to reuse any of those hoses or wires, I don't want to damage any more of the body or chassis by tearing things apart. Guys, I guess it wasn't ready. We've got uh, a couple things to deal with. We're going to, everything was released, but there were some hoses and wires connected. We're going to throw all that in the garbage, but I still want to go ahead and disconnect them right now. Um, and I think we need a couple more guys on this. Um, because quite honestly, that was backbreaking. Will got started on sanding the body until we could get those last wires and hoses unhooked. Next, we'll get everyone together to do the lift. So the sanding process, um, it, it's critical. And uh, let me sort of show you what, what you'll come up against. Um, so here you can see there's primer, and this is the primer right on the fiberglass. Then you can see a red, a clear, a gray, a little bit of filler here. That's what that yellowish stuff is. But then there was primed again and red and cleared again. So this car really has only had two paint jobs. Um, the original gray followed by um, two red. And uh, over here, I'll show you what it looks like as you just come through the primer, you start seeing um, the glass and here you can see the glass is a black color. So uh, Corvettes went through a lineage of different colors. They used uh, black, black glass and white glass um, and gray glass. And this one appears to be a black glass hood. Take two on the body lift. We have to keep this project moving. We've got to get the body all the way settled onto our roller chassis so we don't crack the fiberglass and can move it around in the shop. Okay, uh, so unfortunately, we need it to be down and slide it on. So we're going to lift it up, bring it back to the point, you guys are going to drop it, we're going to slide it into play. And up. Drop your end. Now come forward, David, when we're lined up. Okay, we're lined up here. Uh, we're wiring We're not strong enough with the eight wires. Will finished up the first round of body prep and it's up to me now to put the first round of spray polyester primer. There are different types of primer, but this particular primer is a polyester. So effectively that term Bondo, which is used in the industry, which is just a type of filler. Uh, you know, it's that two part, it starts out pink, you add a little bit of blue to it and it turns kind of that ashen gray. Well, that's exactly what we're spraying on here in a thinned version. And what it does is it allows you to take a body that's very close to perfect and fill little tiny uh, impressions and, and low spots without having to wipe the entire car. On the chassis, we're going to start by putting a removable C3 transmission cross member, adding much stronger control and trailing arms, do an LS3 with a 4L60 transmission and paddle shift. We're going to do a Borgeson power steering conversion, ride tech coilovers, an in tank fuel injection pump, uh, 13 inch rotors on bare four piston brakes. 
factory air conditioning, factory power windows, uh, aluminum radiator, select black paint job, and a split window top. And inside, we'll have a hand-stitched top-of-the-line interior and Dakota digital gauges. I have a few specific charities in mind and I think we're getting close on a final decision. Make sure to click those like and subscribe buttons. Check out some of our other content on our channel. We're putting a lot online and we hope you're enjoying it and learning a little something along the way. Take care.